In most videos, you see perfect, perfect dogs doing perfect obedience. I never have understood, two dogs here, one dog here. I've never understood how that helps people. I'm gonna do another walk with TJ and Lance, the two big young Rhodesian Ridgebacks. You guys saw that, that video about two days ago where I walked these guys. It was tough. My body actually kind of hurt afterwards. Like it was a hard walk. Now, I'm bringing gentle leaders this time. Hey, you guys, I'm bringing gentle leaders this time. Do you think that I am bringing, TJ, that I'm gonna probably use gentle leaders because they're big? Do you think I'm gonna use it because there's two of them? Do you think I'm gonna use it because they're Ridgebacks and they're kind of wandery dogs? No, that can all be handled. I am bringing and using these gentle leaders because they're nine months old. That is the reason that that walk was difficult. Two walks is kind of tough, Ridgebacks are kind of tough, big dogs are kind of tough. It's nothing compared to the nine month old brain. You can't compete with the nine month old brain of a dog. And you guys always comment on this, that how I break it down in ages and you like it. You can't compete. Lance, leave her alone. You can't compete with it. It's impossible. Their brain is, is somewhere else. It's not, you're not going to get greatness and perfectness or close to perfectness. When those dogs in the gauntlet came, came. so you see that? I just kind of pushed him away. He's just like, I'm treats. And I just kind of pushed him away. His mouth just went bare like that. It wasn't a bite. It's also not acceptable. It's like your kid and you're saying iPad and they go, and you go, hey, give me, your, it's time to be down with iPads. And they go, no, with an attitude. You don't really accept that, okay? So that's not acceptable. So he's gonna learn that a little bite in a jerky way is not acceptable because little kids and young dogs need to learn that stuff in life. Did I do anything to him? No. I shouldn't do anything to them, They're, but it's not totally acceptable to do that. Now we're done, but I hope you saw that. All right, we're going on a walk. We've got a dog set up. We're making it harder than last time. We're making it harder than last time. We have a dog set up that we're gonna pass. Then we're going through the gauntlet of multiple dogs. Chester, that dog that rolled up. You should watch that video I posted two days ago. Come on, come on boys, gentle leaders. We're doing it. We're doing it because they're nine months old. That's the main reason we're doing it. All right, you guys have seen these. I've talked about them. Gentle Leader Company needs to be paying me. They do not, but they should. I'm selling thousands of Gentle Leaders for these guys. I don't really care. I'm doing it for you guys. You guys, I'm giving you the best tools out there. Um, and these are the best tools. These are the best tools. Put it on like that, bring it over the back. Do we want to get him off of it? Yes. But competing with this nine month old brain ain't easy. You need to, my dog, when he was nine months old, I was almost ready to use a gentle leader for a little bit. Yeah, but Joel, you're a professional dog trainer. Yeah, that's how hard it is to compete with a nine month old brain. Okay, let's see if we can get a sit. Boys, sit. Clear sit cue. I don't want to sit, say it a bunch of times. Good boy. Sit, Lance. Okay, we're done asking. I said it once to him, he did it. I said it twice to him, he didn't do it. So I pushed his butt down, we're done. Don't get treats. I asked him twice, still gets treat. They're young, they're babies, stay. Can I fly out this door? Nope, if they do, pop, turn them around. Okay. Mmm. You are such a good boy. Okay. And we're going on our walk. Come on, come on, come on, dude. Okay, I don't care, same side. Owner wants either side. They kinda, they're so big, having one on one side and one on the other is kinda good. But if they wanna go both sides, then we'll do that. Look at him, he's not like perfectly conditioned to the gentle leader, but that's okay. He's a little in front. You saw the last walk with those proactive stops. I'll do those again. Uh-uh. So the gentle leader, as good as it is, does, is a little, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Is a little, uh, 
difficult and conditioning. Like look at this guy kind of buck like a little horse with his head. It's because that gentle leader's on. It's okay. Good boys. Are they being pro? I haven't even done a single stop yet. Remember the video the other day, I'd done probably eight stops to this point. Now they're hanging back. This is because of the gentle leaders. Okay, one stop. He kept going. Just give him a little stop. Leave it. Carly, why don't you go up in front of us? Because they're going to hang back because you are their favorite. There's no leaving me to go see Carly. I'm the guy with the leash. We're cruising. These guys are being great. This is a, this is a perf this is a fine walk. If these dogs can go home to the owners and be like this, the owner's going to be super happy. If these dogs can go home and be like the walk I did two days ago with them, these owners would be super happy. Are they, are they leaving me? Yes, they are. And leaving is not okay. Being in front of you is okay. Leaving ain't okay. Is not okay. Look at they want to get to Carly so bad. We got a dog set up right over here. Now they're with me. They're not perfect, but they're with me. Just cruising. They peed a little while ago. I'm not gonna do the release to pee again. I don't think. Okay. Dog. We're gonna pass, so the minute you see the dog, they see the dog, you stop. Set the tone. They're with me, so we're gonna proceed. The criteria to proceed is that they're with you. There's Chester. Why am I not saying anything to them? We're not competing with random pit bull running up to the fence. We're just gonna keep going. These guys are being great. Passing a dog. We'll take this all day. We'll take this calmness all day. Nine month old dogs now leaving and stopping. We have to we have to choose our battles. And passing a dog and passing a dog running up to us on the fence and then being a little wiggly is just fine. Watch out, Carly, another car. Being in front of me, little stop. So, we're competing with Ridgebacks. Just not being like Dobermans or Malinois where they're like, oh, owner. They're brothers, so they're, they feed off each other. But the main thing is they're nine months old and their brain is, is somewhere else. Teenagers maybe, two-year-olds. Their brain, you can't compete with the terrible twos. Your kid is going to freak out. There's gonna be moments of it. We don't go, why is my kid freaking out? Okay, let's pass again, then let's go to the gauntlet. Car, come on, come on, come on. Criteria is simply walking, somewhat well. He says, I wanna stop, I say I don't really care. Loosen the leash and walk. Good boys, come on, come on. Walk into him, I'm not a thing to be, come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, come on. Choose your battles. Choose your battles. There's gonna be moments, uh, certainly with these two with me, there are moments of struggle. I don't have one month, nine, my nine month old dog. I have two nine month old dogs and they're 95 pounds. 90% of this walk has been perfect. 10% of it has been a struggle. Stopping. Not being with me and leaving me. That's the other 10%. Here's Chester. He already freaked out. Now we're going through the gauntlet. You guys like to see the tough stuff. You watch. There's moments in my videos where I, where I use a perfect dog. I never intend for the dog to be perfect. In most videos, you see perfect, perfect dogs 
doing perfect obedience. I never have understood two dogs here, one dog here. I've never understood how that helps people. That perfect Malinois. You want to look at him? You can look at him. Desense, desensitize. We don't need to just rush through this. Let him get their bearings and go, look over at those two Dobermans. That's boss, Prince's friend. Look at this guy. Let him get orientated. Look at this one over here. Yeah, we're in no rush. Are they, and they're being perfect. They're looking at things. Their brain is, is taking it all in and they're being flooded with uh, senses. They're just being flooded and they're being good for being flooded. Dog, two dogs, dog. Trying to get through this, they're gonna stop, they're gonna pull, let them like, I tell my clients, dogs are scared or something or nine months and they go, I go to PetSmart, my dog's just out of its mind. I say, get out of the car and stand there and let the dog go, oh, okay, I'm, I'm in this parking lot. Oh, there's some dogs over there. Oh, this is a new place, it's a new smell. And I say, stand by your car and just let your dog take it in. That's what we're doing right now. We're letting them take it in. Cause if I just kept going, they'd be like, it's too much. They, they didn't have time to process it. Now they've seen it all. Now we're ready to move again. Come on guys. Now they're ready to move. Now they're ready to be calm. Good boys, you're okay. You're okay, you're okay. Good boys, yes. Totally calm for that dog just like rolling up to us. Come on, Lance, good boy. They're not, oh my God, another dog. Let him look, let him look, let him look, let him look. Hey, 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 hey. Take a breath. They're being great. Good boys. That's your friend. Remember? I always. No, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. At the fence, at my facility, during my privates, what do you hear me say? That's your friend. That dog was growling a lot. And I'm like, that's your friend. That's your friend. Now, there's no fence. Oh, the gate's closed. Okay. Come on, guys, come on. He's not perfect, just a little stop. He was just kind of in his own world, in his own world. These guys have been good. This has been crazy. We have a lot of dogs around us. He's kind of, that's okay, within criteria, right? He wasn't really leaving me. He was just looking and cruising. They can look, you ain't gonna stop. You're not gonna stop him from looking. You're not going, nor do you really want to. Leaving me. But they're on my page. Okay, we're turning, we're going back. I'm coming over here next to the Dobermans. Walk into them, I'm not giving them cues. I just want general goodness without cues. I'm gonna walk into them. He's gotta avoid me. It's a lot. It's a lot. Just can't leave me. Just can't leave me. Can look. Can't walk into me. Can't. Cry. I always find when I put my hand up and I rewatch these. It's okay. Good. See that check in with me right there? They see boss up here. Dudes. All day. These gentle leaders were a must today. Must today. Chester. Good. After every stop, mostly they look at me. We'll do it again. Gentle stops. Gentle stops. Now watch the third one. Oh, still need it. Oh, that's your friend. Leave it. Loose leashes. Loose leashes all the time. Your leash should never be tight. It should be tight for one one hundredth of a second the moment that correction is being given given, or more specifically, they're giving themselves a correction. That's the only time that leash should be uh, tight. That one one hundredth of a second. Never, ever, ever, ever tight. Ever. All right, guys, that's the video. I hope you learned something. Uh, the nine month old brain, the patience, the picking your battles choosing your battles. You're not gonna get perfection, so we're just gonna work on them not leaving us. And a couple other things. Okay, like, subscribe, and comment.
That cat's awesome. He walks around the fence line way down there at your house where those coyotes live. He just walks around the fence line, like by a tree line. Like a coyote could just jump out and kill him and he, he just, he's got nine lives. <laughs>